For the first 10 stages of the Stadium Cars Otago Classic Rally, there was a clear and consistent pecking order in regards to the top five. But as the final four stages rolled through, there were some major changes happening. With Marco Martin catching Regan Ross and putting a 15 second gap on him, Ross had a ton of work to do in Special Stage 12, and he answered the call, scraping back a valuable eight seconds. But under pressure, the former WRC works driver went through stage 13 fastest. His 7.58 put six seconds back on the table, as Ross could only manage an 8.04. With the final stage looming, Ross had to find 12 seconds, but sadly for him, it wasn't to be. The Estonian Marco Martin won the stage and the Otago Classic Rally for the second year in a row. Last year we had it quite easy, but this year we had two days of full, uh, full of uh, proper battle, yeah. so it was uh, tough. Okay, we had some uh, issues and we lost some time, uh, and then it was very difficult to get it back because um, uh, Regan was trying really fast. So uh, fortunately he had his own issues as well, so we both had uh, some stories and uh, at the end it was still uh, pretty tight and we managed to do a good stage through the um, Courier Bush and uh, that I think settled it finally. John Silcock did enough to retain his spot on the podium ahead of Jeff Judd, who amazingly completed the rally to retain fourth spot after rolling during the final stages. Rounding out the top five was Tony Gosling, just five seconds behind the very lucky Jeff Judd. There were other honours in play for the weekend as well, with Miles McIlwain taking out the 1600 class. While in the 1300s, it was Peter Fred. So there we go, it's all over for the Otago Classic Rally 2017. The winners and the podium places have been found. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage this year, and we look forward to bringing it to you again in 2018.